One, two, three. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So many people around. I'm quite scaring. Uh, but you are like family, so there is there should no be scaring me. Um, yes, uh, my name is Alexei, and I'm developer uh, of Gurtom. Uh, yes, 15 years ago, I started developing the company, and uh, still in this business. Uh, Four years ago, uh, I was tired of doing all the management activities. You know, for technical guys, it's too complicated to do the any kind of administration. And um, I leave management to Alexander of Vialon products, the biggest product we have, and concentrated on uh, the things that uh, I like to do and uh, what I can do and uh, what makes me happy, the development. And I'm right now I'm heading a uh, research and development department in Gutom and responsible for a few new products like Flesp and uh, Space. So uh, any kind of Vialon talks, any kind of uh, uh, fights about the prices, please uh, do to Alexander, not to me. But like title said, uh, Chief Gurtam Architect, I'm still devoting uh, part of my time, I say, think it's like 20% of my time, I'm helping Vialon developers uh, with very complex issues uh, like uh, DDoS attack that we had a few weeks ago and uh, maybe we'll have this week as well. So I'm help uh, guys from Vialon to do the product better, uh, to do some kind of uh, architectural ideas, I, so I didn't leave it. I'm still held them, okay. Uh, so, uh, two years ago, uh, in Telematics 2017, in I international and Russian uh, conferences, I had almost a uh, similar speech about uh, what uh, will be in the future, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I told you about how Vialon and Flespi bring you to IoT market. Do you remember this slide? Yes. Okay. Uh, actually, it's not changed quite a lot. Uh, I still do not believe in uh, vehicle manufacturers uh, that uh, will kill hardware manufacturers in our market. I don't believe in this read. I still do not believe uh, that companies like Google, Yandex, uh, Amazon, Microsoft will create some kind of global fleet management system and kill Gurtom. And I still believe in the power of IoT. But what has changed? Um, I see that most of you guys are totally happy doing hardware, hardware installations. And um, just a few of just a few companies uh, of you are able to do any kind of software development. So I do not believe anymore in you being able to do the software developer. And I think that you are absolutely happy doing what you are doing right now. This is not bad. This is not truth. Or not good. It's just a naked truth. So, um, I have slightly changed my vision of the future for you, like uh, a company is doing uh, what you are doing right now, the installations of devices and providing, reselling, just reselling the service. So, so. And before I will draw the picture, uh, let's go back and uh, base it on the fundament of the history. And like everybody knows, uh, I think everybody knows this. Uh, GPS was opened to the public in 1994. Everybody knows, yeah? Uh, in um, approximately in 2000s, uh, companies like uh, Gurtam, like Teltonica, Ruptel, etc., started to appear. Companies providing fleet management services and companies uh, providing hardware. But those were, those were pioneers on this market. And there were a golden age because there were no competitors. Uh, we dealt with new technologies. 
with new products. Uh, nobody knows what is GPS tracking. Uh, we, can, we could set any price that we want. It was a very, very good time. But after a while, approximately until 2010, uh, after a while, um, this business started to attract more and more companies in all segments, all areas. Uh, hardware manufacturers, software development companies, uh, integrators like you. Uh, I think the, the, the highest growth started from 2010 until maybe, uh, until right now, we are still growing. <laughs> and uh, right now, uh, this, pro, uh, this type of business is a commodity. Uh, everybody knows about the GPS tracking and um, I think uh, you already installed it in plenty and millions, in, in, in ten, tens of millions of uh, vehicles all over the world. Not only you, but different integrators. So everybody knows what GPS tracking is. And, um, and right now it's harder and harder to compete. Not only for you, for us as well. There are a, a lot of competitors uh, for our services. There are a lot of much, much more competitors of hardware manufacturers. They are sometimes even closing the companies or uniting companies like, like you know, case months ago. Um, the scene here, uh, in th at this stage, uh, we at Gurtam tried uh, trying to give you a product, very generic product, uh, that you can use on any kind of business, on any kind of service. This is important. So by using only one product, you can uh, fill the requirements of any kind of your customers. You can do only one training for your sales and support teams. You can do only one marketing site with the one product. It's very easy for you to resell. Uh, at this phase, I call it unification. You can use one product everywhere. Um, the problem is, and maybe it's not a problem, but a natural growth of this market is such a way that, uh, yeah, sorry, it, it was slight about what I talked about, the VLON. So this product is VLON, generic product. But what goes further is that uh, the market um, requires more and more. Uh, these guys from pizza delivery services, uh, at some point of time, uh, they do not want uh, anymore a generic product with generic features. Uh, they started to ask you, I just want a special product for pizza delivery uh, with few buttons, uh, with few KPI, and I do not want uh, this complex product. I don't want this complex hardware. I want special hardware for pizza delivery guys. This will come at some point of time for hardware manufacturers. They will even produce different devices for different types of businesses. Not only high-end, middle-end, low-end, but more and more specialized devices. The same will happen to software. But what is the problem? On this market, at unification, uh, there are millions of vehicles, and um, it's easy to do the development, and this development, this small feature, will be usable by many, many different businesses. So uh, the size of this market is huge. And these pizza delivery guys, uh, the amount of vehicles there is very low. It means that it's difficult to supply you with a product for pizza segment, or for taxi companies, or for bank transportation segment. The cost of software development, maybe you don't know, but just I, uh, I hope it's not a secret, but the cost of software development is hundreds of thousands of dollars. So uh, I would say uh, the, the cost of software uh, for one specialized segment is started from $100,000 up to a million dollars. Can you imagine that you need to invest, or some kind of company need to invest $1 million into a product for, uh, for 10,000 vehicles market for 100,000 vehicle markets, it's almost impossible. That's why you don't see so many solutions here on the market at that point of time for, from software development companies that are targeted to some special market. Uh, and we also understand it. That's why we created uh, Flespi, 
uh, backend uh, that will combine all the complexity of telematics and uh, let uh, such software development companies to specialize on it. Um, but FLSP is very technical. It's like a component, like a um, CPU chipset in a computer. You cannot use it. You need a computer. You don't even need, you, you, you need a motherboard. You don't need just a CPU chipset, although it's very important. That's why we also are creating at that point of time FLSP, uh, space platform. And uh, this space platform is right now, it's not ready. It's in development and uh, it will take us at least two years to finish the platform. And it will take two more years until there will be cust customized applications on this platform. Okay, so this is how I see the growth on this market. And uh, what about the mission of you? TSP's telematic service provider is integrator. Company like you, uh, what is your mission? Do the installation, the go to software development, service. Andrei, uh, tell us that the service. Yes, nice idea. Uh, I think the telematics will be everywhere. Uh, I think uh, that uh, it initially started uh, from, oh sorry, it's in the bottom, nobody, ah, you see, uh, on the duplicated screen. So fleet management is something uh, that uh, you are doing right now. You are doing fleet management and, and there is a device in the car and uh, the cost uh, of the data from this device is going to increase each year. Right now it's fleet management, but uh, biggest companies, they want ERP. They want this data in ERP solutions. They ask you for the data, and uh, sooner or less there also will be a smaller companies that also want this data. They own this data. They want to use it in their business uh, calculations. Um, there is a growing, uh, growing uh, market for such products like Marketplace. Marketplace is something that um, unite consumers and suppliers. Uh, of some products. For example, Uber is marketplace because it's a, like a central place where people who want taxi meet to taxi drivers. But uh, Timo Common Europe is also marketplace and I believe this market will grow more and more and more. But a good chance uh, for you, these companies want the data from vehicle, they want it to make decisions faster, um, but a good chance for you is that they do not want to deal with devices at all. They want this digital data of, from vehicle. Next is insurance. The same car, the same vehicle, equipped with the same device, uh, and insurance also wants the data from this device. But right now, these guys are selling, um, selling own devices. They say, please install this device into OBD port. But why they should occupy single OBD port and disturb you from gathering the data for fleet managing, for ERP, for marketplaces? They, so everybody wants the data from the car. And uh, last but not least is government with regulations. Um, they're growing, growing very fast. Uh, by regulations, I mean uh, toll roads like Platon, Hugo, uh, in US it's YLD mandat, in um, Russia it's Aeroglanas, Ecol in Europe, uh, and uh, even Tachographs, it's also regulations. And they're pushing the market, pushing market a lot. They also need remote hands, they need installations, they need to solve these issues. Everything is vehicle centric, and you, you have hands, you can do the service. Uh, yes, so what is TSP mission? I think device will be everywhere. This world will be filled with more and more and more and more devices. And uh, guys, you can sell your telematic experience on this market. Only you know uh, there is a milliard, uh, billion, billion of problems <laughs> Billions of problems you can encounter, but connecting device to some platform. Uh, for me, it can take a few hours to connect device, for me. 
Um, for a new guy in this business, it can take days. Guys with, without technical, uh, technical background, it can take uh, for ages to connect the device. And you can, you, can you, you know, please sell it. And what you should expect for your companies? What should you expect? First of all, you should understand that the market will continue to grow. Uh, prices, everything will be cheaper. Hardware will be cheaper. The price of your service will be cheaper. Um, customers, each individual customers will pay you less. Price for connectivity will be cheaper. Everything will go down, except the price for Vialon. Because Alexander, <laughs> yeah, he told me that he will bid for this price uh, for ages. But you can speak to Alexander about it. Uh, what's further? Uh, at the same time, uh, the cost of your labors uh, for you will grow because salaries are growing. Do you know why? Nobody know why salaries are growing? Okay, another question. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Um, um, tell me, can uh, anybody raise hand uh, uh, whose uh, salaries are falling? Salaries of employees. Okay, and uh, growing? Yes, at least, yeah, 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 I see it. Okay, great. So uh, here, I, I hope I, I'm right. What, do you know why? Because of companies such as Google and Gurtam. Because IT companies. IT companies, uh, they are selling uh, products for business automation. They are replacing uh, persons, replacing people. And that's why um, people are sometimes not in need anymore. And that's why... Uh, the money flows goes to these IT companies. And IT companies need more and more people. That's why, uh, for example, in Belarus for last year, we had a growth, average growth of salary in IT companies, 30%. 30% growth, 30% growth of the cost for us, for salaries. And we need not only engineers, we need office assistant, we need drivers, we need managers, we need marketologs, we need everybody. It means that to compete with IT companies, you will always, uh, you will need to raise your salaries to your clever guys, or you will lose them. This is the problem, you see? You are like between Hammer and Anvil. It's not bad. It's not good, it's not bad. <laughs> it's life, yeah. So please, please prepare to constant telematics market expansion. It will grow, grow, and grow. Everything will grow. More devices, more companies, more competitors, more software, more hardware, everything will grow. We are just on the very, very beginning of this market. So please prepare to. If you are right now dealing with 100 customers, think about how you will deal with 10,000 customers. This is the future for you. And uh, while market is growing, please sell your experience. Uh, sell your, you, you, are, you are boss here, you know. You are here for ages. Even if you are for a few years on this market, think about a newcomer that, will, that should go through all the troubles that you have gone on your way. At least right now you are ahead of them. And think about uh, new applications. Uh, think about neighbor businesses uh, that are out of the window. Think, you, you know, you have device. You can connect sensors. And uh, you can connect it to remote system and do some automation. Think about how to apply your knowledge, how to apply the technology. I know one guy here, Alexander Ivanov, he knows how to apply this technology. And he will tell you later. Uh, about it. Uh, he, he, he was famous in Vialon for controlling milk. Yes? <laughs> Maybe right now a few more areas of applications. But he first started, he was the pioneer and uh, he succeeded there. You can be pioneers. When you are pioneer, you don't have competitors, you don't have price levels dictated by market. You can do whatever you want. And yes, um, 
for this hammer and anvil uh, to prepare for it, you need to invest into automation. Uh, uh, yesterday we had a workshop about automation. I saw that it was totally filled. It is good, you understand it. I do not need to speak here anymore. But automation is the way to go for you to survive. Uh, whatever robot can do, please let him do. Please replace people with robots. It mean, don't, do not mean that you need to fire people. You need to apply their knowledge, their decision system in the areas where a robot cannot do. This is the only way to survive you. And yes, uh, in order to stay on the same place, you need to work very, very hard. This is not good, this is not bad, this is just poor life. Thank you. Thank you, Alexei. Uh, if you have any questions to Alexei,